Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be doing a shopper drop. It's been a long time since I've done this. I say this at the beginning of every shopper drop video, but like I definitely don't do these videos as frequently as I should, but basically I go through Trend Mood's Instagram page and then I tell you whether or not I will be shopping for the product or dropping it from my list. Obviously, this video was inspired by the original Will I Buy It series from Samantha March, so definitely check hers out. I just like to call it Shopper Drop for something fun. We have some space here. I'm gonna be putting the products here, so let's get into it. So I'm going to be starting from January 22nd and moving up and then maybe I'll throw in a few extra products but the first thing we have here is the Too Faced Highlighting Trio. I do believe these are available now. But these are the Too Faced Highlighting Trio Compact or Illuminating Pressed Powder. They are part of the new Born This Way, the new Naturals collection. And I cannot lie, these are really beautiful. I'm definitely getting hourglass vibes from this product. This is not a product that I am going to rush to pick up, but I can see myself picking one up during a Sephora VIB sale just to try it out, get to know the formula, stay educated for you guys. But other than that, I am in no rush rush to pick up this product but I have to say it does look quite gorgeous so I am interested it's on my wish list I don't know Too Faced also leaves a bit of a sour taste in my mouth sometimes but I really feel like this product's really pretty now the eyeshadow palette that this collection comes out with I'm not so into but this whole pressed glowy powder compact I'm really digging it. So let's talk about some of the new Fenty releases that have come out. These are currently available. I saw them at Sephora yesterday. So she's coming out with three new lip glosses, a clear one, sweet mouth, and a chocolate one. Sweet mouth and the chocolate one I already own. I got them in a mini holiday set. So I will not be picking those up, but they are very pretty. Definitely had my eye on the clear one, which I believe is called Glass Slipper, just because she does have a wonderful formula. However, I am going to pass just because I mean the lip glosses aren't cheap they are $19 and even though I like the formula $19 is a lot for a clear gloss I already own a clear gloss from Colourpop that kind of fits my needs for that so I am going to pass but I'm super attracted to it because it also just looks really cute just a clear gloss in that super nice packaging the what it do makeup refreshing spray I have heard really nice things about that I heard the mist is wonderful I am tempted to get it I am going to pass because I have a a whole drawer full of sprays but I am going to challenge myself the next spray that I finish I'm going to pick up this Fenty spray I have a very good feeling about it it's a hydrating mist I love hydrating mist not right now but treating myself once I finish one of my facial mists which it's coming close so and then also she has uh this lipstick trio for Valentine's I'm going to pass on that I just don't need that but yeah, those are the new Fenty products. All right, so Norvina released a new eyeshadow palette for ABH, and I feel like, didn't she tweet that she was hardly gonna release any palettes and she's already released two this year? I don't know, uh, just, just food for thought. But anyways, this is another one of those mini pro pigment palettes from ABH. I'm passing on this. I already got all three of the big ones. I don't need any of the little ones. So definitely dropping that from my list. Don't want it, not interested in it. The color scheme doesn't really speak to me at all. I saw it in stores, wasn't into it. So it, just nothing about it tempts me at all. So we're gonna be moving on from that. Next we have the Dominique Cosmetics Latte 2 palette. I love Dominique. I think she's a very sweet person. I, from what I can tell, I don't know her. I don't watch her videos too much. She's not my favorite person to watch, but from the videos that I have watched from her, which are quite a lot, I just really like her, so I like supporting her brand. I love her Latte palette. That's honestly one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes, one of my go-to eyeshadow palettes. Um, I haven't loved every palette that's come out from her, but for the most part, I like her stuff and I'm attracted to this. I will definitely be shopping it. I wasn't in a rush to pick it up as soon as it released, but I definitely want it. It's in my Sephora cart right now. I think it looks super pretty. It is not anything that I need, but I like her formula. I like her brand. I like what she stands for, so I will be picking this up. I think it is gorgeous. So hopefully it's as good as the original Latte palette. That's what my fingers are crossed because they... Looks super pretty. Ooh, 
Ooh, hourglass. Okay, so it looks like they are releasing new ambient lighting palettes. There are four, diffuser edit, dim edit, ethereal, and luminous edit. Uh, it does not look like they are currently available, but I am definitely interested in picking this up. So I'm gonna put it on my shop list. Obviously not all four because that's a bit redundant, I feel. I definitely wanna pick up one. I do love hourglass products. I put them in my makeup kit. I wear them for every day. They really just are such a special formula. I am very interested in this. It's definitely something though that I would have to see in person to pick out my favorite one, but I'm very into it. Don't expect like a whole review on all four just because that sounds very expensive. I'm trying not to be as crazy of a spender as I once was, but no, I am definitely into the way that these are looking. So definitely gonna shop those once I get more information on those. And then moving on, we have a new ColourPop collection. This is their Valentine's Day collection. I was on the ColourPop website this morning looking at these items. I decided to drop them from my list. Originally, I just wanted the eyeshadow palette because I wanted to do a video on new eyeshadow palette releases, but that one didn't even really fit into the scheme or the color scheme of the other palettes that came out, so I decided to pass on it. I don't need it. I won't use it that much, and quite frankly, I, I don't really care for the color scheme as much, so I did decide to pass on this collection, but you guys know I love ColourPop collections, but this one personally just didn't speak to me, so I did decide to drop that from my list. Will not be picking that up, and honestly, I just don't think it's that cute of a collection. They've just come out with cuter collections, and in my opinion, this isn't that cute. Makeup Revolution has released a new concealer. These are called the Conceal and Define Infinite <laughs> XL Concealer, so it's supposed to be full coverage, long wear. This sounds like it's going to make my under eyes crease. I personally like a more moisturizing, luminous concealer. That looks like it's gonna show all of my lines. However, I have to admit, I do like Makeup Revolution's concealer formula quite a lot and their foundation. I'm actually wearing the foundation right now. So I like their base products, believe it or not. And I think once this is in Ulta, I will pick it up just to try it out to support the brand because I do like their base products. I hate their eyeshadow products, but they have good base products. So not rushing to pick this up, but I definitely can see myself picking it up from Ulta on a whim in the future. Not super interested in it right now just because it's not my jam. It doesn't sound like something I would really like. I will pick it up to test it out for sure. MAC has also released this beautiful collection. Oh my goodness. It is the Loud and Clear collection. I think that this packaging is impeccable. Like this should be their new packaging for their brand. I think it's just such a cool vibe, very clean and just different. It's way better than the black. Just a nice change for the brand to kind of revamp themselves. But of course, this is just a collection. I saw this collection in stores. There were a couple lipsticks that are beautiful. There's Yash and then there, the, the lightest one. I don't know what it's called. Eyeshadows aren't very interesting to me. Don't need any more lip glosses as much as I would love to purchase them and don't need any more lipsticks. I did actually already purchase the lighter highlighter. This is the highlighter in Postmodernist Peach. Let me tell you guys, it is so stunning. From the packaging to the color, it's just a really smooth formula, a very natural highlight. If you like something super beaming, this isn't super duper beaming, but it is so pretty. I had to pick it up. Along with that, I don't know if these are in the collection, but these are the Glow Play blushes that a lot of people have been talking about. They were on separate displays. Like the blushes were not a part of this collection, but they have the same packaging. Anyways, I did pick two up. I picked up Grand right here, and then these were quite sheer when I was swatching them, so I got the brightest one no shame but I think you can build it up but anyways yeah these I heard such good things about I did already pick up a couple of these in case you were curious and I'm very excited to play with these these look stunning and if I love them I want to get more colors because I'd need them in this packaging they're everything ColourPop also came out with an Ulta exclusive collection particularly the eyeshadow palette is what caught my eye this is called the you're a cutie eyeshadow palette I actually went to Ulta and picked it up today this was 
the only item that they had from the collection. They had the display with everything else, but they didn't have the actual product, but they had this, which I was excited about because this is actually in line with the palette video that I'm gonna do of all the new releases because this is very similar to some other palettes that have recently been released. So I'm very excited to play with this. I think it is stunning. So obviously I shopped this palette. This is my kind of color scheme, perfect for the time of year, for Valentine's Day, and I'm really into it. I have not yet swatched it, touched it, done anything with it quite yet. So I can't tell you what I think, but I did pick that up because it is even more gorgeous in person than it looks online. Also, something that has been haunting me because I originally posted these on my community page to let you guys know that they were released, but these are the new Pat McGrath glosses. They're called the Opulust glosses. They have a lot of multi-dimensional sparkles. I said no because I do not need another lip gloss, especially a lip gloss that is $30. I was like, nope, dropping that from my list. Dang, they're doing such a good job with their marketing and all of the ads I'm seeing and all of the pictures she's posting of how glittery and luscious the lips look. I'm saying drop now. I've already said drop, but these are definitely something that I see myself falling weak and purchasing when I see them at Sephora and swatching them. So I might end up picking up a couple, but for now, pass. I'm gonna be weak. I know I am. I know me. Ooh, yes, this is interesting. Mel Cosmetics is coming out with a new collection. It's a Valentine's Day collection. This is the Millennial Pinks collection. It is available right now on Melt's website. I will be picking it up from Sephora. Just the palette. There are some other interesting things like those. What are those? Are those eyeshadows? I think those are eyeshadows. And then you have the eyeliners. I'm just picking up the palette. I think the palette is really pretty. It doesn't speak to me, but I am into it. So I do want to pick it up. So I'm going to shop for that. Everything else is a pass for me. I do like the melt palettes and the last couple haven't really caught my eye. I've been passing on those, but this palette is one that I feel like I'll actually use. So I will be picking that one up. Mm, so many MAC collections. I'm just, I don't even want to talk about them. Oh, this. Okay. We got to talk about this. I mean, you guys already know my answer, but I do want to give you my thoughts on the new Pat McGrath complexion products which are going to be concealers and it looks like a new under eye powder and some brushes um, yeah okay anyways definitely will 100% be purchasing absolutely they come out February 21st the concealers are $32 each powder is $30 each will not be picking up the brushes but we'll be picking up the actual products super excited for that. I'm going to be wearing my foundation in preparation just to see how that reacts with concealers and to see how it reacts with this new concealer. Super pumped for this. Expect a full review on that. Hmm, anything else interesting? Oh, Selena's coming out with a brand, Selena Gomez, called Rare Beauty. <sighs> Listen, I love Selena, but I'm really tired of celebrities that really aren't known for makeup and hardly probably ever do their makeup come out with makeup brands. It's just, it feels like such a cash grab to me, which I mean, it is what it is. I don't think Selena is really in love with makeup. I do follow her makeup artist on Instagram and like he does beautiful work, but even Lady Gaga, Victoria Beckham, like, I'm sorry, but if her line is really good I and I'm super interested, I'm not going to say I'm not going to buy it. I, I will, especially for what I do and to answer your guys' questions. But I I just don't... You know what I mean, okay? Let me move on. Um, but brrr, We're coming towards the end here, people. Okay, the Marc Jacobs. It looks like they revealed some items in their new coconut collection, which comes out in the summer. Um, they do like a coconut collection every year. First of all, I love his coconut bronzers. I use them in my makeup kit. Actually, when this collection comes out, I might order a fresh one. I don't know if it's going to be like a new one or an old one, but I'm going to pick one up, probably that lighter one in the photo, uh, just because I literally have hit pan on mine. And then there's also like this bronzer balm. We'll probably be picking that up. I love a good bronzer stick, so we'll be picking one of those up and picking up the actual bronzer. So from what is released from this collection thus far, it's not very much, but I really like cream bronzer and I really like that coconut bronzer. So nothing exciting, but definitely going to be shopping those items. Oh, this skincare item, Good Molecules. I really like Good Molecules. You can purchase them on Beautylish. They have very affordable products. They are coming out with these caffeine energizing hydrogel eye patches.
patches. I've never gotten into eye patches, but these look really good. Like next time I order from Beautylish, I'm gonna add these on. They're $18. You get 60 patches, which are 30 pairs, which that's a lot for $18, I feel like. So I don't know. These are intriguing to me. I like this. So I think definitely gonna be shopping those. That was a fun item. And it's very rare that skincare excites me but that excites me. We're gonna finish with something that I know a lot of you are going to feel very, very strong about. I already posted about it on my Instagram. Let's talk about the new Morphe and Jacqueline Hill palette that's going to be releasing. Now, I'm gonna tell you now, I am going to be shopping it. It's not really something that I'm super excited about. To be quite honest, the color story, like, yawn? I don't know. There's just something about it that's not super exciting to me. I just... For the collector in me, I will be picking it up. I don't even use her original palette that much, to be honest. Um, it's a Morphe palette. I, I have this weird thing where I do enjoy collecting Morphe palettes. I, her first palette was pretty. We're gonna see if this is actually the same formula or if she's coming up with a lie. I will be picking it up. I don't see myself using it a ton as a palette and the color story isn't exactly that pretty to me. Uh, there are some purples in there and there are some shimmery neutrals that do look really pretty, but it's just not that pretty of a palette, you know? There's so many colors in this palette and it's still not speaking. To she, I, she stayed in the same tones. Like I know it's a much brighter palette than her original, but she could have gone really fun. I would have loved to see some like jewel tones or pastels or something different, but this just seems like the same with some brighter colors. I don't know. And then of course, you know, the whole drama aspect of her products and stuff. I mean, I try and stay out of that for the most part. I mean, there are some things that I just can't keep my mouth shut about, but it's nothing I'm excited about. So, <laughs> and then also it looks like she's extending her brush collection, which listen, I'm not going to lie. I really liked her original brush collection. I didn't purchase it, but I did pick up a couple of brushes. I picked up like the foundation brush, there was like a concealer brush, and then I picked up like one eyeshadow brush, and all of which I really like. They feel very sturdy. They feel like better brushes than the actual regular Morphe line. Not something I'm gonna go and pick up every single brush, but you know, once they come into the store and I see them, if it looks like a brush that I want, I'm not going to say no because they're affordable. And from what I've tried from the Jaclyn Hill brush collection, they're pretty nice. So I mean, if you're looking for affordable brushes that are good, the Jaclyn Hill ones are really good. They're not the dirt cheap ones, but you know, you pay for what you get. So I would pay a little bit more to get a little bit of better quality. I'm not opposed to purchasing any of these, just won't be jumping on them. But anyways, that is all I have for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts on the new products coming out. I know a lot of you are going to have a lot to say about Jaclyn Hill, so I definitely want to hear your thoughts on that. Yeah, so I feel like there wasn't anything too, too exciting in this video, but definitely stuff worth talking about. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you are not yet subscribed to my channel, I sure do hope you take the time to do so, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys, have a good one.